Golf fans, get ready for the showdown of the century. The reigning world number one, the greatest name in sports history, and two former world number one players will be going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, or tee to tee against one another. In this video, we'll talk about Tiger and McElroy facing Thomas and Spieth in December, the auctioning of a historic Tiger Woods item, and various golf memorabilia that sold for tons of money. First off, the match is on. Yes, the match is indeed on, and it's going to be unlike anything you have ever seen. After an extended absence from from golf, the most renowned and decorated name in the golf world, Tiger Woods, will be playing a 12-hole exhibition match in December. What's more, he'll be joining the current world number one, Rory McIlroy, at the exhibition. The duo is set to go up against former world number one players, Justin Thomas and Jordan Spieth. Renowned media outlets reported that the 15-time Grand Slam winner, four-time major winner, three-time major winner, and two-time major winner have all confirmed their availability for the made-for-television event. Titled The Match, the event has has been around for quite some time. Scheduled for December 10th, the exhibition match is the seventh edition of the showdown. Tiger has been making an appearance at the event in the past as well. It'll be his third appearance this year. As for the other three, they would be playing in the event for the first time. For his first appearance, Woods played in the event against Phil Mickelson, which was back in 2018. He returned to the course a year later and teamed up with NFL quarterback Peyton Manning to take on his rival from last year, Phil, with quarterback and seven-time Super Bowl champion Tom Brady. Team Woods ended up dominating. Moving on, Woods confirmed his availability despite a packed schedule. Although the venue is yet to be confirmed, the exhibition is expected to be played at the Pelican Golf Club in Bel Air, Florida. It's scheduled on the weekend before the PNC Championship in Orlando, where Woods has been making an appearance with his son, Charlie. Woods has accepted a place at the event despite having a packed schedule. Apart from PNC Championship, he would also be hosting the Hero World Challenge Tournament in the Bahamas a week prior. It's indeed refreshing to see players of such stature going against each other outside the professionally competitive events. Woods had otherwise been battling severe leg injuries from a car crash back in 2021. The accident left him needing screws and metal rods to hold his shattered right leg together. It's important to note that although the maestro made a comeback at the Masters this year, around 14 months after the incident, he struggled to play. He finished 47th in the tournament and afterward withdrew from the PGA Championship just after 54 holes due to his struggle with stamina. Having said that, in his most recent competitive start, the former world number Number one also missed the cut at the British Open in St. Andrews. So the exhibition is undoubtedly going to be a dream come true for his fans, who've been waiting for quite some time now to see him back in action. Up next, Wood's old golf ball is going up for auction. Two men from Coralville, Iowa, Bob Justin and his brother-in-law David, managed to get their hands on an exquisite item back in 1996. It's a golf ball that is speculated to be priceless in the modern world. Why is that so? We'll talk about that in a little while. The owners of the golf ball have now decided to put it up for auction after around 26 years. Bob revealed to Golf.com that whatever he would be fetching from the auction, he will share with his brother-in-law David, who was there on the course when the ball was handed over to him. He admitted that both of them played an equal part in getting their hands on the item, so it was only fair that the two split the money. The ball is expected to go anywhere upwards of $100,000 because a handwritten leaderboard cardboard piece with Wood's name on it sold for $69,000 recently. Moreover, a ticket from the event was sold for $99,000 earlier this year. The ball belonged to Tiger Woods himself and also bears his autograph, so it would mean a big payday for Bob and David when the two auction it off. Moving on, why is it so special? It is a lesser known fact about Tiger Woods that the greatest athlete in the history of sport hasn't had a single hole in one shot in a professional competition ever since 1998. Yep, you heard that right. The outstanding golfer has been in a hole in one drought for more than 24 years now. Interestingly, though, he had one of those in each of his first three professional seasons. That ball is one of those three that Tiger hit to secure a hole-in-one in the 90s. During the final round of the 1996 Greater Milwaukee Open, Bob Justin was behind the par 3 14th green at the Brown Deer Golf Park. When the up-and-coming superstar posted an ace in his professional debut, he and his brother-in-law begged the golfer for the ball. It must have been their lucky day because once Tiger won the title, he actually flipped the ball toward them. So that's what makes it that special. Moreover, the duo later managed to get the ball autographed by Woods too. As per Heritage Auctions, the golf ball undoubtedly ranks among the finest artifacts facts of Tiger Woods' outstanding career. Coming up next, golf memorabilia sold for insane amounts of money. First up, Francis Wiemetz, 1913 U.S. Open gold medal, $80,736. The Green Jackets Auctions is an auction house that's been auctioning off valuable golf memorabilia for the past 16 years. Of the numerous items of historic value, one that stands out is Francis Wiemetz, 1913 U.S. Open gold medal. Was it the greatest game of golf ever played? Maybe not. However, Hollywood believes so. That's why the gold medal went 
for a whopping $80,736. The proceeds from the auction were donated to the Francis We Met Scholarship Fund. Moving on, circa 1700 square toe iron, $82,026. Quite the opposite of the gold medal, the auction house auctioned off a circa 1700 square toe iron that went off for a little over $82,000. Although the club left a lot to be desired in terms of accuracy, stability, and condition, since it was a vintage artifact, the buyer ended up paying a lot more money. Up next, trophies of Bill Casper and Sam Sneed, $88,000, $95,000, and $94,000. Casper managed to dominate Gene Littler in a rare 18-hole playoff and won the 1970 Masters Tournament. The match ended up being the final 18-hole playoff to decide the fate of the green jacket and the winner's trophy. The trophy fetched a staggering $88,810. Another trophy was presented to Billy Casper right after he dominated Arnold Palmer in an 18-hole playoff at the Olympic Club back in 1966 for the U.S. Open final. Casper was two shots down, however, and he managed to turn things around. The trophy went home with the buyer for around $95,000. Similarly, Sam Sneed won his Masters Tournament in 1954, for which he also received the shimmering silver trophy. The piece was exquisite, the kind that could be boasted on a mantle. For its mint condition, it cost the buyer around $94,000. Now, for Scotty Cameron hand-stamped gold-plated victory putters, $107,000. Scotty Cameron is a leading putter manufacturer that has been in the industry for around 25 years. The manufacturer came up with an exquisite set of clubs that went off for around $107,000. Why the insane cost? Because the putters were handcrafted by Scotty Cameron in the mid-90s. But that's not all. Interestingly, these putters had the distinction of making victory putts in the hands of great golfers at prestigious tournaments. Moreover, they were also gold-plated and hand-stamped. Three of these were used by Tiger Woods, and some others came from Justin Leonard and Ernie Els' hands. Lastly, two-time Masters champion Horton Smith's green jacket, $682,000. Champion of the first Masters tournament, Horton Smith passed away in 1963. However, the story of his green jacket that became insanely high in worth after his demise lives on in golf lore. The Master Tournament Augusta National Golf Club memorabilia became one of the most sought-after pieces at a 2013 auction. They had many people trying their hands on it for their collection. It was ultimately sold to the winner of the bidding war for around $682,000. Yes, over $180,000 more than half a million dollars. For perspective, in comparison to all other items auctioned off by the Green Jackets auctions, Horton's piece went for roughly at least 25% more. If that doesn't blow your mind, we don't know what would. And that's a wrap for this video. What are your thoughts on Tiger Woods and Rory McIlroy playing against Jordan Spieth and Justin Thomas in an exhibition match this December? Who would win? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.